Welcome to Tenerife where the sun is rising with the beautiful Mercedes CLE 450 convertible. My name is Marcel Flores. I'm a lifelong Mercedes fan having grown up in Stuttgart, Germany. I've lived in New York for over a decade now and I'm stoked to explore this island with you guys. Before we hit the road, let's talk about this beautiful car behind me. The CLE, for those of you that don't know anything about the CLE, combines the sportiness of the C-Class with the elegance of the E-Class. The 450 boasts a 3-liter engine with a 381 horsepower output, so this thing you can absolutely have fun with, but also you can stay ultra comfortable and luxurious, whatever you choose. The 2024 model also has a few new features. Let's start with the exterior. Obviously, we have that beautiful, sophisticated, aerodynamic design on this soft top convertible, but accessing it is about as easy as it's ever been. You got contactless entry, and if you wanna open the trunk, all you have to do is walk back and kick underneath it. Now, what separates the exterior from the interior is obviously the most important part of a convertible, in this case, the soft top, which opens in 20 seconds at speeds up to 60 kilometers an hour. I've never heard of that before. And as you can see, you can open it with the key as well. Then we'll move on to the interior. Here we have a few Mercedes classics like the ambient lighting strips that have gotten an upgrade. They look so amazing. We got that leather look on the dashboard. We also got this incredible feature specifically for a convertible to tilt the display either at 15 degrees or 45 degrees so you don't get that sun glare which I think is clutch then also key convertible feature the air cap and it makes sure that the airflow hits a lot higher so you don't get that annoying wind flow on the top of your head especially for those tall drivers and of course the air scarf which keeps your neck warm when you're riding with the top down now that we know what we're working with I'm gonna put on some nice tunes on this beautiful Burmester 3d surround system hit the road and explore this beautiful Canary Island called Tenerife Leaving the coastal cities behind, we moved all the way up the mountains to where I'm standing right now, Teide National Park, which is a UNESCO heritage site. It's named after Mount Teide, which happens to be the highest peak in all of Spain. And because of all the volcanic activity over hundreds and hundreds of years, this park offers some of the most unique and diverse terrains that I've ever seen in my life. It's absolutely stunning. Currently standing right beside the Roques de Garcia, a rock formation that is mind-blowing. This place honestly looks a lot more like Mars than Earth most of the time, which is fine because our car is essentially a spaceship. And now just 10 minutes down the road, we're in a completely different environment. If we were on Mars before, we're now on the moon here at the Minas de San Jose. They look like sand dunes, but they aren't. And this incredible diverse backdrop with the mountains and the ever-changing landscape is making this place an absolute must visit. We have made it all the way to the north to the city called San Cristobal, which also happens to be a UNESCO heritage site because this used to be the ancient capital of Tenerife. It's beautiful. We're currently driving through the old town. You have major influences here from the Baroque, Neoclassical, from the Gothic, and you really see how this island has gone through so much history and so many different influences. It's a stunning sight to see. Santa Cruz, on the other hand, is a very modern city. This is the current capital of Tenerife and I'm standing in front of the government not only for this island but for all of the Canary Islands. The city has an incredible amount of art, culture, music and of course the people and all of that really culminates into one massive event every year and that's the carnival that's happening in February. It's one of the largest carnivals in the world and even rivals that in Rio. So I really hope that you see how many beautiful sights 
there are to this wonderful island. But one thing we haven't quite seen yet that we definitely still need to, it's a nice sunset, and I think I know where to find one. And that already marks the end of our trip here on Tenerife with the beautiful Mercedes CLE 450 convertible. Thank you guys so much for coming along and I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know when I'll see you next, hopefully on this channel, but for now, you guys stay exploring. Bye.